Kim Otakoven, KRO Designs, here on a beautiful Super Bowl Sunday. What better way to do a setup Sunday than with my A5? I love this Webster's page. It's got this beautiful um, rainbow and the gold accent on the front. But inside, I am not cleaning. It's super sad. I've already done a video on this, and I totally own up to the fact that I haven't spent a whole lot of time setting it up, per se. It's really just a hodgepodge of things I've put together. And, of course, there's no... There's no things in the pocket. Where's the love? Ah! I've got several here that need to be getting gone um, and replaced. And nothing wrong with them. They work out perfectly fine. But I just want to make sure that everything looks a little bit more cohesive. I also have one with a pocket. So I'm going to be using the Kinley's Doodles box. And I'll go over that in a second to make that pocket. Now, I have this A5 template for you if you are totally interested. It is at my website, carodesigns.blogspot.com. It's free, totally free. All you got to go down is to the free templates. And I have a whole smattering of um, TNs and ring bound planner templates that you're welcome to download. I always had trouble always remembering what sizes are which for which planner. So I decided to make it easy for not just me, but for you as well. And as you can see, I do have the placement of the ring holes. I did want to make sure that they're absolutely perfect because you know how it is sometimes when you're turning and the holes don't line up perfectly. And I did that because not every Everyone has a hole punch, but I wanted to make sure you had, um, if you have not a single hole punch, you'd be able to do this uh, depth dashboard template and the bookmark. So we're going to get started using our Kinley's Doodles box. Got three vellums, and this one is the first one. It's got these beautiful florals. This one is a beautiful floral as well. The acetate for this month has these hearts. No foil, but it's beautiful just the same. And who doesn't love a little Rick Rack? as a vellum and the papers are cardstock so I won't have to uh, laminate them I can just use them as is they are double sided so you can just go ahead and use them um, at your leisure either way works for me they're so beautiful on their own but I just love this black with the lace background it's beautiful and then who doesn't love a little grid beautiful die cuts from Kinley's Doodles and then of course the paper clip um, is super simple this month it has this kind of like um, location tag with those two beads. They're just absolutely simplistic. And then of course you've got a whole smattering of tags in the same colorways. Her page sticky flags are awesome this month. They're in three sections, but they all work cohesive together. And then she has three adhesive pockets. Two are this size and one is wider. Um, another die cut. And yes, that clip came with the kit too. I did want to mention that she does have labels for her tabs and then it also comes with three sticker sheets. I also did keep the packaging because I always seem to use the packaging in my designs as well. So now that you have an idea of what the KD box includes for February, let's go ahead and get started. Stay tuned for the end for a final flip through. All right guys, see you at the end. Just cleaning off my workspace and plugging in my laminator. I will be doing some laminating with my acetate and the vellum from the kit. I wanted to make sure I had one clean edge of the A5 template, lined it, all the papers up together, bulldog clipped them, and then trimmed them all at one time. I then did just hole punches and I was ready to rock and roll. The one divider I did want to make with a pocket, I just folded it at the correct dimensions and then I just trimmed at an angle up to that fold line and then voila, I have a pocket divider. And then you just adhere the bottom, super simple. With the A5 template right there, I just trimmed an eighth of an inch off of each of the sides because I once the laminating part of the acetate and the vellum. I want to make sure all of those dividers are the same size. And then I just trim them using again my rotary cutter and my rotary mat with my see-through ruler and then I just hole punched them like regular. Now here comes the fun part. I took some of the uh, packaging and made some page flags that were larger and for that die cut I really wanted it to stand out not only physically but also visually so I took some black paper to surround it so it would pop a little bit and then just do some foam dots on the back. That rickrack you saw me uh, fussy cut out was just from the paper and then I used some of my own stash that wood grain wash washi tape that I have I thought would pair well um, with the black elements there and then I just used some die cuts in the corner along with some of the stickers that last one that was super quick that's all it was is a strip of black paper and one little die cut 
that's it. This one I did take some paper and use as a base to put on top of the sticky pocket. And then this one I love. I took all of the pieces of paper that had the same pattern on it. And then I did take off the card stock backing of the packaging so it would be thinner. So like card stock and packaging has different layers. I just peeled off the top layer so it would be a lot thinner. And then I just went ahead and just cut a slit in one of them and then stuck those sticky notes in there. This beautiful day pocket, I really wanted it to pop so I did put um, a page flag underneath of just plain white paper. This one I wanted to take the acetate and then I laminated it but on the back side as you can see those hearts those um, I just spray glued on the back because I forgot to put it at the laminator and it works just fine. Now here comes the tabs. These things are so fussy sometimes. I swear I think it takes me longer to do the tabs most of the time than actually putting the dividers together because I kind of want them to all line up and look pretty so it takes a little time to do some fiddling. I did have this February. I did forget to do a divider after all of this counting and stuff. It was just this February. Um, and then as you saw, I was trimming actually the clear pocket that came in the kit. I wanted to make it like a corner pocket instead. Somehow I lost some of the videotaping of me physically sewing onto that vellum, but you'll see that in just a second. And then I just took some time to incorporate some of those elements into the pockets of my A5. Just finished up and I thought you'd like a flip through. The front here has just a bunch of ephemera pieces and this bow is from the December kit from Kinley's Doodles. And I love the paper in this pocket and how it peeks up. Probably one of my favorite parts, while this is hard to decide, was I stitched some rickrack here on this vellum. And of course, um, it has this great texture against this actual printed Rick rack and then I've got a die cut here and I love the way that clip looks with it and if you look on the back side I do have this pocket this angled pocket I just made from the one piece of paper flipping over and then I've got a few more things that need to go inside and this pocket works great I can keep these skinny sticky notes right in there now the next section is this monthly section of course as you saw I use the, the acetate um, on the back side after I laminated but it seems to work very well and it's not sticky at all the next one is the list I love this page always good to do a simple black and white it just looks so stunning I just use the packaging different um, feelings and textures and colors even though they're the same I think it worked out well especially with the washi the next section is this meals very simple just the washi tape black paper and this die cut very classic Next section is this book section. Again, I have this sticky note pocket here, again with some die cuts, and then one of my favorite clips I've ever had, right there. The next section is projects. This is the see-through projects page. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and clip that under there, since it all can work together. I can always add more time, more stuff on the front as I need it. This next section is one of my favorites as well. I guess I, I like a lot of them, but I love this die cut. And then I did mount it on black paper so it would pop a little bit more. And then I did do some fussy cutting with the rickrack. Again, some packaging and some more extra paper. Here is that um, tag that I put together. These are from um, just in my stash, ready to go. And it's super simple, just three pieces of paper and a couple ephemera pieces. All right, the back side on the finances is super simple. I just have that February here, which means I get to trade it out soon. And then I have a pocket here to add, and I did round it. All right, thanks, guys. I really appreciate you being with me. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd love to see you back on my channel for next time. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.